everyone and welcome back to the channel as you can see from the title of the video today we are going to be doing a an apartment um in uh san marchino and if you look in the top left it is the 121 hakeem house apartment lot so yeah that's what this build is for today um i wanted to do something a little bit more simple um but like still colorful so i guess like with the last build i did a lot of like neutrals and things like that so for this build i want to do something that was on the more colorful side and i thought that a san maishuno apartment would fit that really well especially in the like fashion district area um and or the arts area sorry i think this is in the arts area if i'm if i remember correctly but yeah just like in the city in general i feel like is a good place to have something really colorful and more modern so yeah that's what i went for with this uh build and um i think when i was building it like i didn't go into it with a certain idea of who was gonna live here but um i did think as i was kind of going into it and you know filling out the rooms and everything um i pictured like maybe an arts critic would like live in this apartment um so that's kind of like what i was thinking as I was building it it's like someone who's in like the arts career I didn't put I was originally gonna put an office in here uh, but I didn't end up doing that so I think they probably work like outside of their apartment so they don't have like a designated office space so yeah I think they work for like a big like company um, or like a writer like journalism sort of magazine or something like that where they write for like you know art stuff like an arts credit career or like a writer some kind of journalism or um yeah i don't know something like creative like that in the city so that's kind of the vibes that i was going for and i use a lot of colors that i don't usually use which was nice uh, i feel like when i build unless it's like a kid's room i usually don't use like purple or pink um i didn't really use purple in this i think there's like maybe a little bit of lavender in one of the rugs in the living room so i didn't really use lavender but this apartment mostly has blues a really light green and pinks and like corally sort of colors um and i think that looks really good together so yeah i i liked um especially like the dining area i think that's my favorite part of this apartment actually is uh like the little dining seating area um, yeah, so I, I like the way that that turned out, but, um, yeah, so it's basically just a stylish, colorful, kind of minimalist, but maximalist in the terms of, like, color kind of apartment, but there's not a lot of clutter and stuff everywhere, because I wanted it to feel, um, kind of sleek and, like, with no clutter, like, this person's very organized, and they have everything put away, um, and that kind of thing, because I usually do... I mean, if you've been here long enough, then you know that I like to do a lot of clutter um, around houses and stuff, but I decided to do something different and then have this one be a lot more minimal than I usually do. Um, but I like the way that it turned out, even though it's not something I, I usually do a lot. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what this video is about. Um, I actually hurt my back. <laughs> I feel like there's just something every week, um, but yeah. I literally was just bending down to like put my leash, or not my leash, but my dog's leash on them um, to take them outside. And as I was like bending down and like trying to get it like over their head, it like something in my back like popped. <laughs> and so now I'm having a hard time um, sitting for like long periods of time. So I also wanted to do something a little bit more on the minimalistic side just because it would be easier to like, you know, it's, it takes less time basically to um, clutter a space that doesn't have a lot of clutter. So um, yeah, so that also worked out in that sense. And then also I think um, this is on the shorter side, this video, but I think I was going to just kind of do a little voiceover for this beginning part just to kind of say where my head was at, like when I was building this, um, as a little intro kind of thing. And then I think I'm going to leave it with uh, leave you guys with the music for the rest of the video um just until i get my back checked out because <laughs> um i'm gonna have to set that appointment and figure what that is i've had this issue for a while um like i went 
it's like in the same spot that I've I've gone and gotten checked before. Um, and basically like the bone was like kind of stuck in place and then um, like the therapist like got it out and then it was fine. It's been good for like a couple months, but I don't know what happened, but trying to bend down and like put my the leash on my dog, <laughs> like messed something up. So um, yeah, so hopefully I can get that checked out and um, be back to normal. But until then, um, this is what you're left with for today. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this build and I hope you guys like the new way I've been doing the like CC uh, like when I list it because it, usually I would have it in like a word pad like folder or like document so you would just like click on the links but I've made like a virtual mods folder that has it's like a Google document and it has like a table of like the creators and the sets that I use and then everything that I use for a build is going to be highlighted so you can like just click whatever you need that I've like used in the build um I think it, it works out really nicely I think it definitely has streamlined um the way that I build and kind of it's a lot easier for me so I hope you guys also enjoy downloading it that way um but yeah so that's how the CC will be linked. It'll be in the virtual mods folder, which will be linked in the description. And the tray files will also be in the description on some file share for you to get the tray files. So yeah, um, I think that's it for now. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the build. And I will see you next time. Bye.